How's it going everyone? My name is Chris and welcome back to F123 and uh, this time we are going to be starting the career mode uh, or the my team mode actually here on F123 um, from what I've heard and from what I've seen it seems better which is good and I like that I like the fact that it's better um, I like you know how it seems this game has improved from F1 22 uh, in every aspect, and even in my team, it's improved. So that's pretty cool. I like to see that. So this is going to be the start of the my team. So we'll go on ahead and jump on into a uh, career because you can either choose career or my team. And well, we're going to choose my team. All right, so we can either play as a driver with an already existing F1 team or do our own season. So we'll just do our own season just because uh, that's what we've, um, that's what we always do. So it's nothing new. Uh, same entry points. I don't think this is actually in last season, but there, there's now an entry point cho chosen affects starting resources. So uh, newcomer with tight resources, the team is expected to build before challenging for competitive results. If you challenge with moderate resources, the team is regularly expected to challenge for points from the opening season and build to eventually challenge the front runners. And championship contender with a wealth of re with a wealth of resources, the team is expected to see the standard for the whole field and win championships from the outset. So we would go midfield challenger, but the whole point of the first season is to be the best in the midfield. So we'll be newcomer. So and got a season or custom season see the thing about custom season and it hasn't changed uh even this year you still can't like s like flip flop some tracks around like I, I can't make like i don't know miami the first race of the season or monaco the last race of the season you know like i just don't have that availability um it seems like the uh other tracks like um china france and Oh, what was the other trip? Port of Mao aren't a part of this. I'm pretty sure once you complete the first season, it'll be like that. So, yeah. Um, it's not really a custom season if you can't even, like, flip-flop some tracks around. Like, yeah, you can choose, like, you know, Australia to be like, the first race of the season and then just, you know, go off of that. But it's like, you leave out Saudi and Bahrain. It's not what you want. So... I don't get the whole point of it, but let's, we'll do 23 races. Um, may, I was, maybe there will be a 22 race season because Imola isn't, or they didn't go to Imola. So but we'll still go to Imola, but yeah, kind of, kind of been annoying, but full season. Um, let's customize our settings. The settings filter is going to be set to the expert because we get more stuff. So assists, this is what it's going to be. Uh, I might try trash control or might try no trash control um for the first race but i think since it's a my team car i want to get used to having it on medium and then off so keep it on medium and if i feel comfortable on medium i'll go to off and get comfortable with that too so uh yeah uh, difficulty set to 31 we don't want it to be easy no 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 so last season we did 100 um we didn't end it on 100 because the AI were stupidly quick. And it, I don't know, like we just didn't compete at all when it was on 100. So I get it, we were a new team and everything, but goddamn. Uh, we could go ultimate, like 101, but I think, uh, I think we'll do 100 again and see if I can go the whole like season on 100. Uh, I'll lower it if, like, we're really off the pace or whatever, um, which might help. So, we can structure, I guess, it's full practice format. Ball final, do full and session length. So, we have very short, short, medium, long, and then full. New, one of the new additions to F1 23 is a 35% race uh, weekend structure. So, that can cut down uh quite a bit on the uh the race length and everything so maybe uh i was thinking about doing that but i, I don't know 
It'd, pro it'd probably be efficient to do 35%. Maybe on, like, tracks that I just don't want to, like, um, be at for too long. Like, I just want to make, I just want to get it done and over with. Um, I'll do that, but there's not really a whole lot for me to, there's not really a whole lot of tracks for me to do that on, so. Uh, I'll put it on long. I'll, I'll change to medium if, you know, you guys want me to. Rules and flags. I'll keep these on. Quarter cutting, just put it to regular. Uh, pit stop, immersive safety car. Increase that. Formation lap on uh, immersive on that. Red flags, going to increase that. Red flags was another new feature within F123, which I don't know why it was, because... It's a thing in real life, and it took them over 10 years to finally add it back in, so. Not really a new feature. It's an already existing feature that they just never put in. 10 years. Uh, career. I think, so department event. Last season, we did department event in frequency increase, and then everything for the AI was increased uh, with ours being at default. So, I think uh, for this season, uh, we'll just keep everything to default. Except for the department of... Or, uh, yeah, department event frequency can be set to default. I don't want to, like... Um, I don't want to deal with all that again, so... Just put it to default. It'll be better. Alt type frequency... Uh, I don't know. Do low, I guess. Uh, I don't really know. Does it specify the rate at which faults will occur? What kind of faults? That's a thing. Uh, I think I'll just do low and standard. Or should I do standard and standard? Uh, I'll do standard and standard. Why not? Weather and time of day. I want it to be approximate. Just want to, I could, just because I want a degree of uncertainty into the forecast, so makes 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 for a lot more better racing. Uh, this all looks about right. Include the flashbacks, surface and carcass of the tires can do that. Damage. We'll uh simulation last time, so we'll just do that again. And then collisions will be on. And there we go. So. It's about the right setting, so let's jump on into this. And we're gonna use my team icons as that we'll use them. Why not? Alright, start career. Yes. I wanna start my career with these selected options that I have. Uh my team, do you want the challenge of entering into Formula One as a new team? In my team mode, you'll start from scratch as the eleven team on the grid, building up your team in order to create a lasting legacy. That's what I'm here for. The both the owner and the driver will have its own unique set of challenges you have to perform both on the track and behind the scenes. Cool. Welcome to my team. Here you'll experience the world of Formula One not only as a driver, but as the owner of a brand new F1 team. First things first, let's create your driver. Okay. So driver. Uh that is not that is not my driver. As a matter of fact, he is down here. Did I pass him? No. There he is. Good old CS, Christopher Smithley. Uh, country, America. Oh, come on now. Name. First name. Christopher Smithley. He's uh, synonymous with this channel. And initials, S-M-I. There we go. Audio name. Gotta go all the way down to find the right one. Hopefully they still have Smith. Okay. Yes, they do. Smith. All right, cool. Uh, then driver number. We could be three for Daniel Ricardo, but uh, I don't know. I don't want to be three. Uh, now I would be number eighty-one, but a certain somebody, you know, took that number. So I mean, could be eighty. No, no, not eighty-two. Um, could be eighty-three. 84, maybe? Or we can go back to uh, the 80. You know what? We're going to go back to the 80. Why not? We're coming back after 
a full year of driving the 81. Actually, no, I think it was... So it was a full game year of driving the 80, the 81. And then we changed it, or we changed it originally in F1 2021. I can't remember if it was season one or season two when we changed it. I think it may have been season one when we changed it for F1 2021 and then just kept it. Uh, but now uh, Oscar Piastri is 81, so we're going to 80 because I like 80. So uh, me and Michael and Bruce share the same exact number. That's fine. All right, that looks good. Christopher Smith Lee, SMI number 80 and Smith. Yep. And now let's focus on your driver's look. Oh boy, clothing and emotes. Uh, what kind of helmet? I gotta make my own helmet. I don't... Oh yeah, we have uh, Devin Butler's helmet, Kelly Myers helmet, the Vegas helmet, a Verstappen helmet, and then Aiden Jackson's helmet. So, all with the Connor Sport uh, logo on it. <laughs> don't know why, but we do. Uh, I can make my own helmet. I can make something with this. Give me a second. There we go. I like this. I like the style of that. It's not bad. All right, we'll go with that. Suit. Uh, do we have any good suits? Oh, we got the Connor Sport one again. So we can just drive for Connor Sport if we want, or we can drive for Vegas. <laughs> um, make something. Here we go. You know what? Suit doesn't look too bad. I like this. Nice. Doing a pretty good job with the, the fucking customization on this shit. God damn. And, uh, gloves, I don't really know which ones. I could go with the Vegas ones. Um, I don't know, though. I can change the color, or I can keep the yellows. I can keep these yellow gloves on. Or I can... Hmm. You know what? We'll keep the yellows on. Let's just maybe make it a, make it black right there. And then what's this? Ooh, okay. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll put it back to yellow. Okay. So it actually works, and then this one's the top. Ah, oh, dude, if the yellow blended in with the red, dude. Possibilities. All right, you know what? That's fine. I like that. What do we got? What's this? Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck? It's a fucking random banana peel. Yeah, <laughs> What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's, sure, I'll take it. Uh, a victory radio call. Um. Alright, maybe not that. <laughs> uh, maybe we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Easy. <laughs> sure. Um. Yeah. Oh, so for the first time in a while, there's like no, um, how your character stands. It's, it's not even here. It's like in between the gloves of the podium emote. Hmm. Weird. Great. Now let's set up some of the key details of your new team. Yes. Team details. We'll start with an easy one. What name would you like to give the team? Y'all know what we're going with. FC Co. Racing. I don't know. I don't. I can't put Renault. Like I can't. I don't think I can put Renault. Hold on. Let me try something. Go back here. Renault PepsiCo Racing. Will that give it to me? Yeah. See, it. I tried doing that in F122, and that's just what happened. So maybe I thought I could try it here. What if I do PepsiCo Racing? Renault. I think it's. Was it, it spelled like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a prohibited word. Like, what the fuck is Renault a prohibited word? It's an engine manufacturer. Whatever. We'll do ink. Nice. Now, it's so fucking weird. Income stream is critical. So we need to sign a primary sponsor. All right, let's see what we're dealing with this season. Our primary sponsor will pay a sign and bonus Ooh. to the team up front. This is vital to cover the early investments we need to make. They'll also provide valuable weekly income for us. Each sponsor has a goal they want the team to achieve. If we hit that goal, the sponsor will pay us an additional goal bonus. Okay. So, we got Xenon. Mokwane? Is that an O, a Q, or an A? What the fuck? I don't know. Uh, Seren, X4MIG, XXY, and then Moon. We've had Moon before. 
I don't want to go Moont. Um, well, I think we're going to go with Xenon. Finish 8th are better than Constructor Championship. I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll get way past that. Do you want to know why? Because I am aiming for the best of midfields the whole season. That's what I'm doing. So, only 4.4 mil. I feel like the signing bonuses are getting lower and lower, like, every new game. Fantastic. Now we've got a little a weird. To work with. Our car won't be going anywhere fast without a power unit. So let's sign a power unit supplier now. Okay. We need both performance and durability from our power units, but we also need to balance the books. We're going to have a lot of other areas to invest our cash into. Right. So we can go Renault E-Tech, Rebel Powertrains, Ferrari, or Mercedes. It's a surprise to see Ferrari not first. It's a shock to see Mercedes in first. And it's a shock that Red Bull Powertrains isn't anywhere near, like, the top spot for some reason. It's just third. I, I, I don't know what they're th looking at over at Codemasters, but I'm pretty sure the Ferrari engines are slower than the Red Bull engines, and I'm pretty sure the Mercedes engines are faster than Ferrari, but slower than Red Bull. Like, am I wrong? So... Should I go back to Renault? I have that contract still with them that I can opt out of at any point. Um, I kind of want a different power unit. Uh, you know, I will go back to Renault. I appreciate Renault. Um, but I think when we go back to F122, I'll still use them. Um, and if I want to go back to them, I can and just finish out those two years. So we're going to go with Red Bull Powertrains. 3.1 mil, though. But hey, Red Bull Powertrains. We sure. We almost have all the key partners for our team now. But we still Fucking need God. teammates for you. That we do. All right, let's see what we have. driver's experience the more resource points are earned to spend on vehicle upgrades. Drivers earn a claim based on their performances. When a driver earns enough a claim, they will level up. Okay. So you have Teo Porsche, Enzo Vidipaldi, Gian Deruvala, Richard Vashur, Amuri Cordell, Ollie Caldwell, and uh, Tatiana Calderon. One thing I've realized is that Felipe Drogovic isn't in here because this is a 2022 grid. Um, yeah, they, um, he's just not in here. I would go with Tatiana, but at the same time, I want someone that can score points consistently. Um, I don't really, uh, I don't really know. Enzo and Teo are pretty pretty fucking close. If I sign Teo, we'll be at $350,000 when we start. If I get Enzo, it'll be like what, 700,000 or something like that. If I go with one of the ones for 500,000, it'll be like $850,000. So I will go with someone lower. Um but I'm not going to do that. So you know what? Let's get Tail Porsche on here. You know what? Add another fucking French driver on, on the grid. Why not? Tail Porsche. $350,000. Yeah. Um, can't get a better sponsor. Uh, Red Bull Powertrains. Expensive as shit. What if I swapped Obviously, it? Obviously, the greater the performance and durability, the better. But be careful about spending all our cash. Well, yes. We're going to have people and facilities to invest in as well. Power unit supplies will also provide upgrades throughout the season free of charge. Yeah. So if I go Looks Reynolds, like this power unit it's $950,000 with uh, Teo. But I, I, I'm going to go Red Bull Power like Trains. This, so. power unit supplier and this might be... Go ahead and confirm if you're happy. This might be the lowest um, money we'll start with, but I think we'll be okay. So... Um, yeah, let's uh, confirm this and let's uh, see what happens next. Let's create the livery. Oh, we'll be yeah, that, that's you. right. Forgot livery. We can add more sponsors to the car as we sign them throughout the year. And don't worry, we can edit our look at any time from HQ. So I'm not going to show it off yet. Um, I'm actually going to do this off camera. So. I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna create the livery and yeah, 
I'll see you guys uh, in the next thing that we do. New year, new drivers, new team. Welcome and great to have you with us as we move far away from the paddock to the headquarters of the newest outfit on the Formula One grid. We've been granted exclusive access with an interview, not just with the team owner or the star driver, but both. Because for the first time in modern F1 history, the team owner is behind the wheel themselves. Now is a great time to bring a new team into the sport, particularly off the back of such compelling competition last year. 2022 saw huge regulation changes and it was Red Bull who came out on top in the development race. But that was last year. This year could be a very different story. Let me tell you, this facility is an absolute hive of activity and there is a palpable sense of excitement around the car they've built. Quietly, they truly believe they can challenge at the top and they've had the time now to craft a hugely competitive race car. But theory is one thing and taking on the brightest lights in motorsport is quite another. So how does the owner of F1's 11th team feel as they prepare to be thrust into the limelight of the F1 circus? New driver lineups, Qatar returns, Las Vegas debuts, and the engineering race continues to push the sport and the drivers to new heights. What are they aiming for? Most excited about, most nervous for? Well, soon we will meet them to find out. But first, let's take a look at the brand new car. Well, hi, thank you so much for having us. Great to be here. I'm gonna start with the question that everyone is asking. It's been a long time since we've seen a team owner drive their own car and a lot's changed since then. The sport has really evolved. So how are you gonna manage the responsibility of doing both roles? Oh, well, I have done this uh, three times in the past. <laughs> um... Nothing easy is worth doing. I live for challenges like this. I'm online. It's been a lot of work, and there's even more to come. But I won't. I wouldn't have taken on the on the task if I didn't believe in myself and my team. This is just about me. This is about my team, and I'm behind them 100. percent Together, we're unstoppable. Yep. And tell me about your teammate. They're clearly very excited to have signed with you. What do they bring to the team? Um, a lot. It's finding the right fit for a team to understand that we're new and appreciate the opportunity we're providing. We've seen what they can do on paper, and I see a lot of potential in them. The skill set really suits our team. It was tough to get any drivers to sign on a new team, but I'm glad they took a gamble. Uh, yeah, they, they, they understand. Teo understands. So tell me about the work on the car. It's clearly a blank canvas. Yeah. A lot. What have you prioritized? Okay. Um. <laughs> uh. Let's see. Focus heavily on maximizing our traction out of corners, which is arrow. Now, there's no getting away from the fact that your competitors yes. have a huge amount of Formula One experience. You are a total newcomer. Tell us where kind you of. see the opportunities to make those vital performance gains. Uh, I struggle with fuel loads a lot last season, so uh, fuel loads are the key to producing the weight of the car. The efficiency we've got out of the power unit will keep weight down. That's now, chassis? Your success this season will be determined what? by whether you can take positions from other drivers. I thought that was engine. Do you believe this car has the edge? What do I believe? Uh, uh, shit. Well, we have the power, so that's not fun. That's not a big deal. We've produced a really streamlined car. We expect incredible top straight top speeds on straights. Yes, Arrow. And with so many disciplines and experts working so closely together here at your HQ, who gets the coveted teacher's gold star? Who are you most proud of as the first race edges ever closer? Uh, I don't really know. The essential details of the chess part on his head is on his special team at X, or perhaps the biggest part of Formula One with our team. The cheese in their short times at Miracle, their buddy partner has been re really proactive at testing. They catch problems before they become problems. Our powertrain department really had to hit the ground running when we took delivery of our engines. They've done a good... We'll do engines. 
Well, I could talk to you all day. God Thank damn, you so my much hair. For your time, but I better let you get back to work. There's plenty more still to do. All the very best for your inaugural F1 season. Thank you, Natalie. God damn. The damn hair, bro. Like, what the fuck? I got slick hair. Better than my hair in real life. Holy shit. All right. Balancing actor. Team balance will inform you of the team's financial situation. Your sponsors will give you cash each week and extra bonuses when you complete their objectives. Yep. Uh, resource points are used to help the team upgrade the car. Yep. And then as your team completes a ra a complete competes at race weekends, you will earn team acclaim. As your team's acclaim increases, so does your income from sponsors. Many of the top drivers won't consider moving to a low acclaimed team, so get out there and prove yourself out on track before approaching them. Yep, heard that loud and clear. So yeah, this is the new uh, Pepsi Co Racing Incorporated car. It's still got the yellow because I like it. And we're going to keep the yellow even if we don't have Renault Power engines. Maybe we'll go back to them at some point. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so let's it's go to, to activities. To races to the fullest uh, yep, team activities. The There's an autofill still and second driver statistics. Yes. Possible to maximize the team's performance. So let's have, let's tap out Teo. Let's give him, let's put him in driver training camp. Let's also do any cash. So let's do preseason merchandise sales and then... Okay, so we won't be able to do another one. I was hoping that maybe I could get Aero Chassis and Focus in there, but it's fine. Um, yeah, more money, the better. Messages, career mailbox, stay informed. We got Ben as... I forgot who he is. Uh, like, what part he is for. Uh, I wanted to... Hey, Chris, hello, Christopher. I wanted to catch up with you and talk about some of the new tasks we'd like for us to focus on. We are a new team. We want to compete. We have a lot of work to do. We have a, have a lot... We, ha we have a lot of work to look forward to this season. Our team is not well known yet, so we must build up our claim to pursue better sponsors. This will help us finance our facilities. Our facilities have a lot of room for improvement. You can decide which areas you think will help out, will help the team the most. Make sure R&D is constantly working on new upgrades. It is important to make sure our car improves throughout the season. Yep. Uh, new car smell. Uh, decorators finished off the brick. The decorators finished off the brick room last week. Good. IT department. Awesome. Uh, and the facility upgrades. Yep. Uh, got that all in the bag. So, not really this a whole lot going on. Oh, oh, this is research and development now. Got boost, progression, facilities, morale. Our cash into upgrades for these facilities. Yeah. So, powertrain is already spec one. <laughs> um, but we'll work on getting chassis and uh, aerodynamics up there, along with durability. Personnel marketing. I want to de definitely do personnel as quick as possible. Uh, and we're actually the fourth best team now. So that's, they're going into the season, so not bad. And Red Bull is the best. Clearly. Um, yeah, what's what's in it for the powertrain? What do we got? So we already have six upgrades. In valve timing, turbo size, piston rings, a turbo pressure, lightweight pistons, air filter, and the ECU. And we are the fourth fastest. Holy shit, bro. So, where are we lacking the most? So, aerodynamics, I think we're going to be good for the first race. Chassis, we felt we struggled a lot on last season. So, I do have a thousand, so I could probably get... Maybe not, actually. I was hoping I could maybe get a chassis and an aerodynamics upgrade, but aerodynamics is 100 extra resources. Uh, let's do planks. Let's get the plank. It'll come in, unfortunately, after Bahrain, but that is fine. Uh, so that's 500, that's 550, 550, uh, that's 500 for the gearbox. I think I'll wait to uh, try to go for the front wing bracket so we can get that in, or buy that so we can get it in. Um, but yeah, we're pretty pretty close with uh, Alpha and McLaren, so let's, uh... oh yeah, I forgot to add on the sponsors. Let me do that very quickly. All right, so there we go. We got uh, Xenon all over the car, so, well, kind of, not the side pods or whatever, but... Well, the more sponsors we get in, and they can fit those areas better, we'll put them on there. Um, yeah, the one area that I wanted to check out is con is uh, the driver market. So we have four new um, uh, my team icons. So we still have Michael Schumacher. We still have Aaron, we still have Aaron Senna. Nigel Mansell is now here in uh, F one twenty three. He is better than Leclerc, which is sad to think that. Um. But he's better than him, better than him, experience and awareness wise. Again, pretty fucking sad. Uh, Mika Hakkinen was actually in last season's game as like an extra my team icon, um, and I didn't see him even though I accepted him. So, but now he's here. We got Mika Hakkinen. Uh, we got Jack Villeneuve. 
Jensen Button still here. Mark Weber. So we've already we've seen one, which is Nigel up there. There's Massa. Casper Ackerman is in here as a breaking point icon. Uh, let's see. Aiden Jackson is in here with as a breaking point icon. Butler's in here as a breaking point icon. There's Pastor Maldonado, the second newest uh, My Team icon, which is odd for me to say that. Kamui Kobayashi is another My Team icon. Nick DeVries is here. That's awesome to see. Logan Sargent. There's Teo. Jamie Chadwick is uh, another. She's a. Okay, that's a little bit weird. It, it says that she's a Mighty Micom, but with that star, it indicates that she's a, a Breaking Point 2 character. But Callie Meyer is Breaking Point 2 as well. How is Callie Meyer better than Jamie Chadwick? Fuck. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and I can definitely tell you that uh, Felipe Dragovic is in here uh, because this is still F2. Wait. No? Yeah, he's right here. Yeah, see? Felipe Drogovic. So we can't pick him again this season, but we got Teo, so Teo's good. And he's actually better than Drogovic, it's funny enough, so... And Kelly Mayer's actually better than him as well. What the fuck? Okay. Um... So yeah, I don't really expect a whole lot. We'll see what happens, but... Yeah, so advance through time. We'll get the driver training for our boy. We'll get some resource points, which we desperately need. So let's go over here. So we got it. We have something going for chassis. Let's get something in here. So we have something for the rear downforce. Let's do the front downforce as well to bounce that out. So there we go. So we got that. So we got 300 resource points. I don't think we'll have an, actually we do have another resource resources running costs coming up, but that won't be enough. Uh, so we'll keep going. Get the preseason merchandise sale, five hundred thousand dollars, another two hundred seventy-six k, and another hundred fifty resource points. Uh, we dropped to second to last on the R and D screen, so that's not good. But hey, <laughs> what can you do? Um, I can't buy anything, which is a little bit unfortunate. But hey, that is fine. So we're back in the millions, baby. Let's go. It's very small. Looks smaller than last season. <laughs> so yeah, that was a uh, preseason episode one. Funny enough. So uh. Yeah, that'll uh, that'll do for me today, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell down below for more. The first my team episode that you guys will see is going to be in a couple days from now because I will be uploading a breaking point video tomorrow, and then the day after that will be the first episode for the my team. So be on the lookout for that. But thank you guys so much. My name is Chris. I'm also going to say peace out. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. I love you guys and goodbye.